we are going to see few more uh, problems on uh, derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. Okay. Find the derivative of find the derivative of the function find the derivative of the function f x is equal to f x is equal to sin of tan inverse e power minus x sin of tan inverse e power minus x with respect to x. So, f x is equal to sin of tan inverse e power minus x. Differentiate with respect to x on both the sides, on both the sides. What happens? d by dx of f x is equal to d by dx of sin of tan inverse e power minus x. So, d by dx of f x we can write as f dash f x which is equal to first the outer function only you have to differentiate it. I told you, you know. So, you assume whatever is present inside as x and you proceed it. Differentiation of sin x is cos x is cos x, but this is not x no it is a derivative you have to consider. So, d by dx of tan inverse e power minus x. Again uh, we have formula d by dx of tan inverse x only right d by dx of tan inverse e power minus x we not have formula. So, d by dx of tan inverse x we know what is it cos of tan inverse e power minus x into d by dx of tan inverse x is uh, 1 by 1 plus x square 1 plus x square into because it is not x again it is derivative you have to consider. So, d by dx of e power minus x. Now, cos of tan inverse e power minus x the whole divided by this you can write 1 plus e power minus 2 x. Why? Because x power m whole power n is x power m n. So, that is why e power minus 2 x we can write into again d by dx of e power x d by dx of e power x is e power x. Is it really x? No, it is minus x. Again, it is a derivative you have to consider d by dx of minus x. So, d by dx of minus x is what now? Minus 1, right. So, cos of tan inverse e power minus x divided by 1 plus e power minus 2 x into e power minus x into minus 1 we got, ok. So, the final answer we can write like this. So, minus of e power minus x into minus of e power minus x into cos of tan inverse e power minus x divided by 1 plus e power minus 2 x. Okay. This is the answer for this problem. Right? And next, if y, if x y is equal to the next problem, if x y is equal to e power x minus y, prove that, prove that, prove that dy by dx is equal to prove that dy by dx is equal to y into x minus 1 divided by x into y plus 1 y into x minus 1 divided by x into y plus 1 we have to prove this. So, what the given given x y is equal to e power x minus y right just differentiate with respect to x on both the sides just differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x on both the sides ok on both the sides what happens d by dx of x y is equal to d by dx of e power x minus y d by dx of x y product rule we can use it. So, x into d y by d x plus y into d by d x of x is equal to d by dx of e power x is e power x 
into because it's not x, it's a derivative you have to consider d by dx of x minus y. Okay. Now x into dy by dx plus y is equal to e power x minus y. What I can write from equation one, I can write x y, right? E power x minus y I can write as x y from condition one. The given thing x y into d by dx of x is one minus dy by dx, right? Now we try to separate uh, the dy by dx terms. Y is equal to x y minus x y dy by dx. We multiply with x y. Okay, so bring this x y dy dx to this side and y to the other side. So what we get x into dy by dx plus x y dy by dx is equal to x y minus y. dy by dx you take common. Then you get x plus x y is equal to here x y minus y. Therefore, d by dx dy by dx is equal to x y minus y divided by x plus x y. Here you take a y common in the numerator x minus one. In the denominator you take x common one plus y. Right? This is what they asked us to prove it. Right? Hence, proved. If y is equal to, if y is equal to sine of log x to the base e, y is equal to sine of log x to the base e, then prove that, then prove that dy by dx is equal to, dy by dx is equal to square root of 1 minus y square divided by x. We have to prove this one. Y is equal to sine of log x to the base e. Then prove that dy by dx is equal to square root of 1 minus y square by x. So what is the given thing? Y is equal to sine of log x is given. Let it be. This is the one we take it. The given thing. Just differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Differentiate with respect to x on both the sides, what happens? d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of sine of log x to the base e. Okay? So, dy by dx is equal to differentiation of sin x. So, I told you d by dx of sin x, you have to take it, right? Because uh, whatever is present inside you, assume as x and you proceed it d by dx of sin x is cos x. So, cos log x to the base e, but actually it is not x, no? So, it is a derivative you consider. So, d by dx of log x to the base e. Now, so dy by dx is equal to this cos of log x, uh, suppose if you assume cos theta, cos theta it is. Cos theta, how we can write uh, in terms of sin uh, square root of 1 minus sin square theta, right? square root of 1 minus sin square theta. Same as like that I wrote. Right? If it is cos theta, then I can write uh, this is uh, square root of 1 minus sin square theta from trigonometry formula into d by dx of log x is 1 by x. d by dx of log x to the base e is 1 by x. Now, we know sin of log x is uh, y from 1 sin of log x is y from 1. So, that means what I can replace here with y square I can replace it. So, therefore, dy by dx is equal to square root of 1 minus y square divided by x from 1. Okay, From 1, y is equal to sin of log x to the base e. Right? So, that is why we were able to get square root of 1 minus y square by x. Hence, proved. That is what they asked. Hence, proved. Differentiate sin square x. Differentiate sin square x with respect to with respect to another function e power cos x. 
it is also a very important model. Differentiate sin square x with respect to a power cos x. Here, what I do is uh, this one, I take it as u. Let u is equal to sin square x, u of x is equal to sin square x, I take it. Okay? And uh, v of x is equal to, I take it as e power cos x. Now, what they are asking, have you understood the question? They asked us uh, to find out du by dv. They asked us to find out du by dv. They asked us the question, du by dv is what? This we need to find it out. How we can find du by dv? You just differentiate this one with respect to x. Because u is in function of x, no it is. So, differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. For both of them, for this and for this also. Differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. So, d by dx of u of x is equal to d by dx of sin square x you can write as sin x whole square. Okay? Here this side d by dx of v of x is equal to d by dx of a power cos x. So, du by dx is equal to what is it look like uh, it is sin x whole square that means x power n formula you can apply x power n formula that means uh, x power n x square is uh, going to be 2x right 2 sin x differentiation of x square is 2x so into d by dx of sin x okay so we are getting 2 sin x uh, into differentiation of sin x is cos x so you are getting sin 2x right this is du by dx du by dx is sin 2x we got it and the same way this side also we will work it out dv by dx is equal to differentiation of e power x actually there is e power cos x is there but we assume as e power x d by dx of e power x is e power x into because it is not x it is a derivative you have to consider so d by dx of cos x so what we are getting dv by dx is equal to e power cos x into differentiation of cos x is uh, minus sin x okay so we got now dv by dx also the value minus sin x into e power cos x okay so finally we need to find out now du by dv du by dv how we can write this is uh, du by dx divided by dv by dx okay dv by dx du by dx divided by dv by dx this by this we have to write it so which is equal to minus sin 2x divided by sorry sin 2x divided by minus sin x e power cos x so anyway if you write uh, sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x the sin x also get cancels anyway we will write that also 2 sin x cos x divided by minus sin x e power cos x the sin x sin x get cancelled okay what is the final answer ultimately minus 2 cos x divided by this minus I wrote in the numerator itself minus 2 cos x by e power cos x okay this is the answer for this problem it is also very important model differentiation of one function with respect to another function okay du by dv if you take them as u and v two functions we need to find du by dv right in this manner we can find it out next uh, we will proceed for uh, differentiation of logarithmic functions so far we not worked out uh, the problems on logarithmic functions we will work it out now okay so this logarithmic functions when we use we have to have clear idea first okay then only we can do the problems uh, in a easy manner okay so when we use uh, logarithmic functions
functions whenever we have uh, problems like variable power variable okay variable power variable problems are there then we apply logarithmic differentiation okay or otherwise the second type there are uh, many functions okay many functions product and ratio like this f1 f2 f3 here f4 f5 like this many functions were there ratio of uh, product of some uh, more functions or more factors we can say okay whenever this kind of uh, problems are appeared then you have to use the logarithmic differentiation one kind is variable power variable and another uh, kind is uh, the ratio of product of uh, many factors or many functions okay so in these two cases we apply the logarithmic uh, differentiation okay to differentiate the things in a easy manner we apply log on uh, both the sides and then uh, we make it uh, in a simpler format and then we differentiate this okay we'll see few problems based on this so far we come across this kind only like a power x a power x or x power n like this these things you saw right one is variable one is a fixed value right see that a is a fixed value here e is a fixed value here n is a fixed value so one is variable one is a fixed value we saw but now it's a variable power variable okay variable power variable if it comes we use logarithmic or also when the ratio of a product of many factors or many functions in that case also we apply this logarithmic uh, differentiation to find out the derivatives of the given functions so first problem we see in this uh, find the derivative find the derivative of the function find the derivative of the function fx is equal to x power x with respect to x find the derivative of fx is equal to x power x with respect to x so we just uh, consider this is a let y is equal to x power x we take it okay x power x we take it here compulsory x is uh, more than 0 it is x is more than 0 in the problem also you can keep it with respect to x in the bracket here you can keep x is more than 0 okay now y is equal to x power x x is uh, greater than 0 how we find uh, its derivative what we do here I told you whenever variable power variable comes we use logarithmic differentiation now we apply log on both the sides we apply log on both the sides apply log on both the sides okay what happens log y is equal to log y is equal to log x power x log y is equal to log x power x now the power of this value come as front of the logarithm I have given you the rules about the logarithms at the time I have discussed with you this value the power whatever it is present it will go to the front of the logarithm so log y is equal to x log x log y is equal to x log x now it became into linearity now the entire function now you can differentiate differentiate with respect to x on both the sides on both the sides what happens d by dx of log y is equal to d by dx of x log x so d by dx of log y or log x because you are doing with respect to x now you assume log x d by dx of log x is what d by dx of log x is 1 by x 1 by x is it really x no to work it out we always assume like that chain rule right so 1 by y into because it's not x so we consider its derivative d by dx of y is equal to 
again uv formula we apply here okay u into differentiation of log x differentiation of log x plus log x into the differentiation of x okay so 1 by y into dy by dx is equal to x into d by dx of log x there is no base means we have to understand it is a base e so x into 1 by x plus log x into d by dx of x is uh, 1 here this x x get cancels and take this y to the other side you are getting dy by dx is equal to y into 1 plus log x okay what is y what is y x power x therefore we are getting d by dx of x power x is x power x into 1 plus log x right because y is y is x power x y is x power x i just substituted here so d by dx of x power x is equal to x power x into 1 plus log x it is like a formula also you can remember it for cet it is a important one okay d by dx of x power x is x power x into 1 plus log x right now we'll see a few more problems based on this type find the derivative of the function fx is equal to x power sin x x power sin x with respect to x x greater than 0 it's another question find the derivative of the function x power sin x with respect to x x more than 0 so y is equal to x power sin x x is greater than 0 we apply log on both sides log y is equal to log x power sin x we get okay so the power will go to the front of the logarithm so we will get here sin x right we get here sin x into log x so d by dx of sin x into log x okay so uv formula we have to apply so sin x into sin x into d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of sin x here okay so we will get here in this place so sin x into d by dx of log x is 1 by x plus log x into d by dx of sin x is cos x and bring this y to the other side so y into sin x by x plus log x into cos x okay so y means what uh, x power sin x y means x power sin x that you have to substitute at the end so therefore what we are getting therefore d by dx of x power sin x is equal to x power sin x into x power sin x into sin x by x sin x by x plus log x into cos x this is the derivative of x power sin x right so we will see one more problem for uh, practice sake sin inverse x whole power x sin verse x whole power x with respect to x sin verse x whole power x with respect to x here they are not given x greater than 0 ok same kind I am doing the same kind of problem variable power variable to get good command on this so sin verse x whole power x so let y is equal to sin verse x whole power x okay y is equal to sin verse x whole power x apply log on both the sides then what happens here log y is equal to log of sin verse x whole power x right that front of the this value will come as a, the power will come as a front of the logarithm so we will get here x 
log y is equal to x log sin inverse x. And then now we differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. We differentiate with respect to x on both the sides and we will observe what happens d by dx of x into log sin inverse x uv formula we had applied here d by dx of log y is means you assume as log x and we are doing proceeding right d by dx of log x is 1 by x because it is not x is derivative you have to consider d by dx is equal to d by dx of x into log sin inverse x so uv into d by dx of log sin inverse x plus v into so log sin inverse x into d by dx of x d by dx of x so x into here you assume as x it is log x what is d by dx of log x 1 by x 1 by sin inverse x into because it is not uh, x no it is derivative you have to consider so d by dx of d by dx of sin inverse x d by dx of sin inverse x plus log sin inverse x into d by dx of x is uh, 1 now what you do is you bring this uh, y to the other side so dy by dx is equal to y into x by sin inverse x into d by dx of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square plus log sin inverse x right. So what is that y, y is uh, sin inverse, sin inverse x power x that you substitute it finally. So what we get uh, therefore therefore d by dx of d by dx of sin inverse x whole power x is equal to what is the y value sin inverse x whole power x into x divided by x divided by root of 1 minus x square into sin inverse x root of 1 minus x square into sin inverse x plus log of sin inverse x okay so variable power variable kind will do like this okay we'll do one more problem find d by dx if if y power x is equal to x power y y power x is equal to x power y so whenever such kind of problems variable power variable only so what the given given y power x is equal to x power y just apply log on both sides because we can't differentiate directly we just apply log on both the sides apply apply log on both the sides apply log on both the sides what happens d by dx of y power x is equal to d by dx of x power sorry apply log on both the sides so you will get log y power x is equal to log x power y ok so what happens the power is there now that will go to the front of the logarithm so x log y is equal to y log x ok x log y is equal to y log x now we differentiate with respect to x on both sides differentiate with respect to x on both the sides so what happens here d by dx of d by dx of x log y is equal to d by dx of y log x ok so d by dx of x log y is equal to d by dx of y log x now we apply the derivative of product rule ok u into u into d by dx of v d by dx of v plus 
v into v into d by dx of x is equal to this side also product rule we had to apply y into y into d by dx of log x plus log x into log x into d by dx of y okay so we just applied on both the sides the product rule so x into x into d by dx of log x is 1 by x but it is not x no it's derivative you have to consider so d by dx of y plus log y into d by dx of x is 1 is equal to y into d by dx of log x is 1 by x plus log x into dy by dx. Now what we do is we will bring all the dy by dx terms together and the terms without dy by dx together. Okay? So bring this uh, log x dy by dx this side and uh, log y to the other side. So what we are getting now x by y x by y into dy by dx x by y into dy by dx minus log x into dy by dx is equal to y by x y by x minus log y ok. So, here dy by dx we take a common ok. So, we can uh, keep symbols like this ok. Now, here dy by dx we take common dy by dx common. So, x by y minus log x is equal to y by x minus log y. You can take LCM here dy by dx here y is the LCM if we take it what happens it is x minus y log x is equal to x if you take common y minus x log y ok. So, dy by dx become what now dy by dx become what. So, take this term to the other side. So, the denominator will go to the numerator there. So, y into y minus x log y divided by x into this numerator will go to the other side as denominator x minus y log x ok. This is what uh, we get the answer ok. Whenever they have given like this variable power variable is equal to like this apply log on both sides and differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. So, we will get the dy by dx is like this ok. So, we will go for another problem find the derivative of find dy by dx if y is equal to x for x minus x for x minus 2 power sin x. Find dy by dx if y is equal to x for x minus 2 power sin x. Here variable power variable is there, but we should not apply log on both. See two terms are there x power x minus 2 power x is there. We cannot apply log because the reason is uh, we are not having the formula like this log x plus y formula is not there log x minus y formula also not there. You should not apply remember that log x plus y log x minus y we have no formula. That is why you cannot apply log for these things. What to do then? So, whenever sum of or difference of two functions variable power variable comes you take separately the functions as u and v you find out du by dx find dv by dx and then substitute in the problem. So, given thing given y is equal to x power x minus 2 power sin x you take let u is equal to x power x and v is equal to 
2 power sin x. Like this only you have to do it. You cannot apply log. Okay. I already told you clearly there is no log x plus y formula. There is no log x minus y formula. Right. That is why we should not apply straight away log here even though variable power variable is present. Okay. So, u is equal to x power x v is equal to 2 power sin x we take it and separately we work it out du by dx and dv by dx we will find out. Okay. So, apply log on both sides for this we just consider now consider u is equal to x power x apply log on both sides apply log on both the sides. We have already done x power x, but again we are doing here apply log on both the sides. So, what do you get? Uh, log u is equal to log x power x. So, log u is equal to x log x. On differentiating, uh, on differentiating with respect to x, on differentiating with respect to x, what happens? What we get? Uh, we get d by dx of log u is equal to d by dx of x log x d by dx of x log x. So, what happens now 1 by u into 1 by u into we will get uh, du by dx. So, d by dx of log x is 1 by x, but this is not x. So, it is a derivative you need to consider. So, du by dx is equal to x into d by dx of log x d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of x. So, which implies which implies du by dx 1 by u into 1 by u into du by dx is equal to x into d by dx of log x is 1 by x plus log x into d by dx of x is 1. This x x get cancels take this u to the other side. So, d u by d x is equal to u into 1 plus log x. So, therefore, it is enough for us d u by d x is uh, enough here d by d x of u means x power x. So, x power x into 1 plus log x you take it as 1 similarly we consider we consider v is equal to 2 power sin x again consider v is equal to 2 power sin x directly we can apply the formula a power x here that is why differentiate with respect to x on both the sides on both the sides what happens here d by dx of v is equal to d by dx of 2 power sin x. So, we are getting dv by dx is equal to 2 power sin x because d by dx of a power x is a power x log a a power x log a, but this is not x no it is a derivative you need to consider. So, d by dx of sin x. So, what is this d by dx of sin x? It is cos x. So, dv by dx is equal to log 2 into 2 power sin x into d by dx of sin x is cos x d by dx of sin x is uh, cos x. So, what is this v now? 2 power x, 2 power sin x. Therefore, d by dx of 2 power sin x is equal to log 2 into cos x into 2 power sin x we got it. We name it as 2. Okay. So, what is given now for us? The given is, given thing is y is equal to x power x minus 2 power sin x x power x minus 2 power sin x. Now, you differentiate with respect to x on both sides differentiate 
with respect to x on both the sides. What happens? d by dx of y is equal to d by dx of x power x minus d by dx of 2 power sin x, right? Individual terms is applied. You already got d by dx of x power x value from 1 and d by dx of 2 power sin x value from 2, we just substitute here. So, that we will get a d by dx. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to d by dx of x power x is what? x power x into 1 plus log x minus d by dx of 2 power sin x, what we got from 2? Log 2 into cos x into 2 power sin x. Okay? So, like this we have to give the answer. This type of models are 5 mark questions. Okay? These are, it is a simple one x power x 2 power sin x are uh, uh, simple uh, functions here. Likewise, we will get uh, 5 mark questions. Okay? Right? We will do We will do one problem uh, for uh, okay, 5 marks type. Find d over dx uh, if y is equal to if y is equal to x power sin x x power sin x plus uh, plus sin x power cos x sin x power cos x. Okay. So, this is a very important model for uh, 5 marks. Find d over dx if y is equal to x power sin x plus uh, sin x power cos x. It is a very important model for 5 marks in the final examination. Okay. So, it is a variable power variable, but you should not apply log straight away here. Because I already told you very clearly there is no formula like log x plus y there is no formula for log x minus y. So, most of the students what they do whenever they see this problem just they apply log on both sides you should not do. Okay? So, in spite of telling many times okay, students always uh, they apply log on both sides here straight away, but you should not do. Okay? How to do this problem? See that uh, given thing uh, this one if y is equal to x power sin x plus sin x power cos x. When this type of problem comes, first you assume directly straight away let u is equal to x power sin x and uh, v is equal to sin x power cos x. Okay? Just take them as u and v functions. Now, we will work it out separately for this and separately for this because they are variable power, variable format they are present. So, we take it uh, consider consider u is equal to x power sin x. Apply log on both sides. Apply log on both the sides. So, what happens? Log u is equal to log x power sin x. The sin x will go to the front of the logarithm. So, log u is equal to sin x into log x. Okay? Now, you apply differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. On both the sides. What happens? d by dx of log u is equal to d by dx of d by dx of sin x into log x. Now, d by dx of log x is 1 by x, but this is not x, no, it is a derivative you have to consider. So, d by dx of u is du by dx is equal to uv formula you have to apply. So, u into u into differentiation of log x is 1 by x plus v into log x into differentiation of sin x is cos x. We apply the uv formula and take this u to the other side. So, du by dx is equal to 
u into sin x by x plus cos x into log x. Okay. What is this uh, u now? What is this u? u is uh, x power sin x. u is x power sin x. So, d by dx of x power sin x is equal to x power sin x into sin x x power sin x into sin x by x plus cos x into log x. Take it as 1. Okay. The next I consider this V. I consider this V. Again consider again consider V is equal to sin x power cos x sin x power cos x again apply log on both sides because it is a variable power a variable apply apply log on both the sides apply log on both the sides what happens log v is equal to log sin x power cos x this cos x will come to the front of the logarithm. So, log v is equal to cos x into log of sin x. Now, differentiate with respect to x on both sides. Differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. Differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. What happens? d by dx of log v is equal to d by dx of cos x into log of sin x. Okay. So, d by dx of log x is 1 by x, but this is not x, so it is derivative you have to consider. So, dv by dx is equal to uv formula you apply here. So, cos x into cos x into d by dx of log x d by dx so log x is 1 by x right 1 by x but this is not x no it is a derivative you need to consider that means d by dx of again uh, sin x it become cos x here plus I hope you understood right d by dx of log x is 1 by x so here 1 by sin x because it is not x it is a derivative you need to consider so d by dx of sin x is cos x plus log of sin x into d by dx of cos x is a minus sin x. Okay. Take this v to the other side. So, dv by dx is equal to v into v into what you are having here cos x by sin x is cot x we can write 1 cot x into cos x okay. cot, cot x into cos x there minus sin x into log sin x. Now, we replace a v value. What is v? Sin x power cos x. Sin x power cos x, we replace it. So, d by dx of d by dx of sin x power cos x is equal to sin x power cos x into cot x into cos x cot x into cos x minus sin x into log of sin x. This is 2, right? 1 and 2 you are having, right? These two values we use, make use of these two and we evaluate now. What is given thing now? What is actually given thing? Given y is equal to x power sin x plus sin x power cos x, sin x power cos x, this is what given. Now, already you know the derivative of this separately and derivative of this separately. You just apply differentiating with respect to x on both the sides, differentiating with respect to x on both the sides. What happens? dy by dx is equal to d by dx of x power sin x 
plus d by dx of sin x power cos x. You already know x power sin x value from 1. You already know sin x power cos x value from 2. You just substitute it so that you got d by, by dx. And it is a 5 mark very important model. So, which is equal to d by dx of x power sin x sin x by x plus cos x into log x. From 1 we wrote x power sin x value plus d by dx of sin x power cos x value. So, this one sin x power cos x into sin x power cos x into cot x into cos x minus sin x into log of sin x. Okay. So, this is the answer for dy by dx of the given problem. Okay. So, this is a very important model for uh, 5 marks like this variable power variable 2 terms either they may give addition or difference. Just finally, one more problem I want to work it out and we will finish off this session. Right? This is a very important model. Next one last problem we do it. Differentiate y differentiate y is equal to square root of x minus 3 into x square plus 4 x square plus 4 divided by 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5 with respect to x. Okay. So, like this the problem is given it to you. right? I have told you whenever you have a problem like uh, okay, product of many factors and their uh, ratio like this format comes you can apply logarithm and you can do easily I have told you. right? So, whenever this kind of problems also comes you can apply log and you can work it out. See that given thing given y is equal to x minus 3 into x square plus 4 divided by this one 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5. We cannot find factors here. So, whole to the power of 1 by 2 right square root means 1 by 2 it is. Now, we will not do straight away the derivative what we do we apply log on both the sides we apply log on both sides apply log on both the sides. What happens it is now log y is equal to log x minus 3 into x square plus 4 divided by 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5 hold the power of 1 by 2. This 1 by 2 will go to the front of the logarithm. So, log y is equal to 1 by 2 into log x minus 3 into x square plus 4 divided by 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5. Now, you apply log x by y log x by y log x minus log y. So, 1 by 2 into log x minus log y log 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5. Okay. So, log x by y we can write as log x minus log y. Now, this is log x y again product rule here product the product become addition here. So, 1 by 2 log x minus 3 plus log x square plus 4 minus log 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5. Okay. Like this we got. So, this is the log y. 
by applying logarithm this function whatever they given the many factors and the exponential became like this so that we can differentiate it very easily now okay so differentiate with respect to x on both the sides differentiate with respect to x on both the sides so you apply the derivative to each and every individual term so d by dx of d by dx of log y is equal to 1 by 2 into d by dx of log x minus 3 plus d by dx of log x square plus 4 minus d by dx of log 3x square plus 4x plus 5 ok like this. So d by dx of log x d by dx of log x is 1 by x ok it is a 1 by x but this is not x now it is a derivative you need to consider so d over by dx is equal to 1 by 2 into d by dx of log x 1 by x x minus 3 into d by dx of x minus 3 d by dx of x minus 3 plus d by dx of log x 1 by x because it is not x it is a derivative you need to consider so d by dx of x square plus 4 minus d by dx of log x 1 by x into because it is not x it is derivative you need to consider d by dx of 3x square plus 4x plus 5 ok. So take this y to the other side dy by dx is equal to y by 2 into y by 2 into here 1 by x minus 3 into derivative of x is 1 and derivative of 3 is 0 here plus 1 by x square plus 4 into d by dx of x square is 2x and d by dx of 4 is constant 0 minus 1 by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 into d by dx of 3 into x square differentiation 2x plus 4x differentiation is 4 and constant is 0 it is right we are getting like this and finally we will write the answer therefore dy by dx is equal to y by 2 into y means again uh, the same function right so y by 2 into 1 by x minus 3 plus 2x by x square plus 4 minus here 6x plus 4 divided by 3x square plus 4x plus 5 ok this will be the answer for this type of problems ok if you want to apply it right away we cannot do it uh, we can do it uh, but uh, it, it is going to be difficult ok by applying logarithm it becomes uh, very easy ok many factors product and the ratio and the exponent is present like this then you apply logarithm and so that the problem becomes simpler and you can solve it ok so we will end up this session we have completed uh, the derivatives of exponential functions and as well as logarithmic uh, functions in the coming sessions we are having uh, another uh, parametric uh, differentiation and also the successive differentiation ok so we will see in the coming sessions ok thank you.